Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I jab random chemicals in the poor dead humans in hopes of building the best undead army the world has ever seen. Welcome back to Creature Creator, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of the name, we have to create a new creature right now because uh, the game is telling me to do that. So I have test subject number three in here. And uh, yeah, as I said, we're going to jab some chemicals in her and see if we can get something more powerful than my other creatures. All right, as per usual, still very much learning what each chemical does. So I just put a blend of four into one. And hopefully this is a good combination to make a mutant. We'll see what happens here. Um, yeah, there's the, the only way you can really find out is by trial and error, I'm assuming. So we might change these later, but this should be fine for right now. Oh, actually, crap. Can I grab that back? I, w I wanted to save that because I don't think it goes into my mixturepedia unless I um, actually analyze it. Okay, I was actually able to grab the mutagen. So yeah, it, it doesn't save into my list unless I actually analyze it. And we definitely want to save these because I believe this mutagen will heal this zombie more than any other mutagen. So obviously, if we know what we need to heal them, uh, that's going to make my life way easier later on. So we'll just analyze and make sure we have this saved. All right, and there we go. So now it should be in my database. And indeed, it we have three. So we have unknown 17. That is it. All right, and this time we're going to fill the creature with the mutagen. And hopefully this will be a powerful one. I'm ready to rescue Clementine. She's guarded by a suspiciously strong force and a direct attack will be too costly. Instead, I need to lure the military away by sending my creatures to attack a nearby district. This should draw them out long enough for me to break into the asylum and save my love. I always love a great love story. Okay, so yeah, I guess we have a new area to attack. Let's check out my creature. Definitely looking a little more charred. Jesus. And we're just going to have a basic creature for right now. Uh, I only did this because the game was telling me to do it. But yeah, I do want to upgrade these guys with new limbs and whatnot. So hopefully we can do that pretty soon here. Okay, again, we got um, really good stealth stats with that mutagen. I must be using the same mutagen in a lot of these. Because yeah, we have stealth-based creatures. Mind you, my first creature is fantastic in comparison, as you can see. Okay, looking around, the lowest is around three police. Uh, that would be the smallest army that I have to worry about. So I think I'm going to do that. And all I want to do right now is spread panic. We have to worry about the investigation. And I haven't spread panic yet. So we'll see what happens here. I'm going to throw all my guys out just in case. I think we're totally fine with this mission. But I just want to see how this goes and there we go yeah we took a little bit of damage all right and my investigation went from 48 to 51 but my panic is now up at 43 so it looks like we can up the bar all the way to 100 i thought it would pull back the investigation i think it just slows down the investigation bar so we might want to do one more panic round try and get that panic bar up to closer to 100 percent all right and actually there's one with only two police so yeah we'll definitely um spread panic once again and being that the more people or monsters we send, the more panic we obtain, we may as well do all three once again and see if that, that ups it to 71. I think 71 is more than enough for right now. I just don't want to go to the next tier of investigation because I know the game gets harder and harder as we go down the tiers here. So these actually change as well every time. We have the med event now. I don't really remember what this one is, but it's only got three people here. And it's got a lot of different resources. So that's kind of the perfect area I want to go to. Oh, attack the as asylum guards. Okay, so that's part of the quest. I'm going to try and get some more substances right now, though. Only because I used a lot to heal these guys. All right, and it doesn't mention that we gain more ingredients if we send more in. So to not drop my efficiency on all my monsters, we're just going to send in one. And see what happens here. Mission's been successful. And yeah, as you can see, I got a crap load of all the resources that I want. I also gathered some bodies, so I didn't realize I could do that when I was trying to get ingredients. Awesome. All right, it's time to get you some new limbs, big guy. This is our first creature with the one we put hoofs on. So I want to actually figure out what I want to do next with this guy. It's by far our best creature. So I think honestly, just working on like damage output will be the smartest idea. So we'll see what kind of limbs we can create. I just made two new mutagens for him. And we got the final one right here. And we're going to pour these into the limb creators. Oh, yeah, I have to upload the DNA as well. Let's do that. All right, so we'll take a DNA sample from him. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. And now his DNA should be uploaded to my other computer. 
So this should be the correct mutagen on both of these. Now let's turn it on and see what we want to work with here. So that's a new one. Acid legs deals damage in each of the battle stages. Obviously, I've already installed legs onto him, so I don't want to get rid of those yet. Vampiric. Ooh, that'd be nice to get. I feel like the axe arms might be nice because it deals more damage to armored enemies. This is going to be my main guy, at least for right now. And a lot of my arms are actually gone. So actually, we only have the one arm. We only have axe arms. I have to unlock... Oh, we have chain arms as well. Ooh, okay. So min damage plus 15, max damage plus 15. I don't know if that's better than this, which gives me slight damage increases, but it also deals more damage to armored enemies. All right, so I think what we're going to do is do one of each. So we at least have the uh, damage bonuses with the one arm, and then we have the tank benefit with the other arm. So we're going to do the chain arm for the left. I got to remember that. I would hate to do two lefts. And we are growing our little chain arm in the incubator. Oh, I love this game. All right, right limb, and we're going to go for the axe arm. And there we go. So we'll have our first fully grown creature. I mean, obviously, you can find better mutagens to make your creature stronger, but I haven't added all the limbs to any creatures yet, so this will be our first one. That's going to take a day, so we may as well go out and maybe try and do something with my other guys, because that's really the only way you can pass time in this game, so we may as well try and collect some more resources. All right, let's go see if my limbs are done now. Have you guys cooked? Indeed you have. Look at that. They're freaking beautiful. Okay, so we got the new limbs. I guess first thing we have to do is remove the old ones. So let's do that. Start that process. Okay, and I don't think you'll be needing those anymore. So we'll feed them to my wonderful worm. Thank you, worm, for not eating me. I'm kind of curious if I could just let him go limbless. That'd be pretty funny. But uh, no, we do want this guy to be somewhat powerful. So uh, we got the right arm. There you go. That's the axe. Oh, this guy's going to look so cool. And then we have the chain arm for the other one. There we go. And just like that, we can click the attach button and boom, magic. Now we have a legit mutant. Look at this beautiful guy. My first and most powerful experiment. All right, get back in here, buddy. I have to go out and uh, do some more jobs. So there we go. Now we should probably do that asylum mission. All right, so yeah, we can attack the asylum guards. We'll do this one. There's only three police and one anti-terrorist. I think that should be fine. And how did low does it go? Oh, it goes all the way down. Thanks to all three of my creatures now. Look at my guy. He's so fabulous looking. That stance. Okay, there we go. We'll throw it on and see what happens after this. All right, a little bit of fighting, but not too bad. Well, we do have a disaster. While my plan was inspired and executed flawlessly, I was defeated by a trick of fate. Clementine was moved to a different location shortly before my assault. Wait, I already saw this. Oh, my save must have got reverted a little bit. All right, so we've already did this one, but I guess it's good that we did it now because we're stronger and we'd probably use way less health. Uh, but yeah, I guess my save got reverted a bit further back. Oh, yes, Clementine's in a new location, all Mario-like. Fantastic. Okay, so I guess we just wait for the next job that we need to do. Yeah, it wants me to obtain more research documents, which I believe is... Is it anywhere on the map right now? Yes, I believe this is the emblem for the research documents. And honestly, this is the perfect place to go to because there's almost no army here. So uh, gather research paper. There we go. One already half risk. And if we do all three, of course, we're going to be totally fine. Oh, great. Well, that was a success, but the military collected a substantial amount of tissue samples from my wounded creatures. Uh, would be wise to check the news. Oh, God. What's on the freaking news right now? They clearly, they're almost done their tier one of my investigation, so I think they're gonna know about me pretty soon here. They already obviously do. Let's see what's going on. All right. Well, they saw my creatures. That is a big hand. All right. And now we just need to raise the panic to at least 85. That should be pretty easy to do. I should probably, you know what? Yeah, before I go out again, being that it does every time we do this, it takes a full day. We may as well try and build more limbs for my creatures while we're doing this. All right. So for my next creature, I want a range based creature that will allow them to attack before pretty much every other creature. But besides, I believe fast creatures attack at the same time. I could be wrong on that, though. Regardless, they attack at every phase. So having them are fantastic. So, yeah, we're going to be adding the acid legs to this creature. That's also something that I just unlocked. So that's pretty exciting. All right. Fill up this one with once again that mutagen and do the same thing, except the opposite leg. All right, investigation just went to 100. That means we're going on to the next part, I believe. Also, I was trying to get to Zoltro. I only got freaking five. 
I'm actually out, so I'm I'm back to five at least, but I was hoping for more than that. All right, but what happens now that we are starting tier two of investigation? Anything? I guess we just have to be more cautious. I am seeing just looking at the police forces now, the lowest I've saw I've seen was six. So definitely now that we're on in investigation two. Seems like the police are out way more. Of course, there's one with only four right there. But yeah, I think it's just getting slowly harder and harder. Oh my god, of course I go to a place with uh, four different resources. I get all three that I didn't want. My luck. Investigation also is now at 11. Wow, this is going up very, very quickly. I don't like this. Regardless, my goal was to get panic to 85. It's 86 now, so we'll see what happens next. It appears that fear is something that a primitive mind is more likely to experience than awe. I have no interest in psychology or other soft sciences, but I know how to use this phenomenon to my advantage. I will enhance myself, terrify local officials, and stronger them to give me the locations of more research documents. All right, great. So we're going to drink another weird concoction. Sounds fun. All right, and there it goes. This looks totally safe to drink. Unknown 30. Why is it such a high number now? Because it's probably going to be delicious. There we go. That's the good stuff. Why am I doing this to myself? My brilliant plans never fail. I am ready to strike and the documents will soon be mine. It's somewhat unfortunate that they are locked away in safe pharma HQ. I should be extra careful to avoid their surveillance systems or the military will gain new leads on me. Still, it is a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, I believe this is the area. Yeah, we can gather. Oh, this is equipment. Oh, gather parts for an automated mutagen mixer. I remember in the FAQ when I was learning more about the game, this is extremely important. Because I believe you can get three mutagens for essentially the price of one, if I understand it correctly. So this is not the mission that I was going for right now. But I think it's the mission I want to do. Should I... Yeah, this guy's only got 70 vitality. Unfortunately, he's taken the brute force of the damage, as you can see. I do not want to risk losing that guy. So I think I'll heal first, and then we'll go out. Okay, I got him up to 120. That was with one full mutagen. Again, I don't have many ingredients right now, so I don't want to go too crazy. Uh, let's head back. I believe it was this zone. And yes, we are going to gather equipment. We're going to send out the full team here. My efficiency is rather low on the other guys, so I'm going to have to do them as well soon. But yeah, I just hope my one guy doesn't die trying to get this equipment, but it's going to be really helpful. Oh, look at the amount of damage he takes at that first wave, man. And we're fine, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to heal that guy now. All right, but that should have unlocked the new piece of equipment. So, ooh, okay. Wait, what? So now I have two different areas where I can put flasks down. So I think I can turn six into two. Regard but I'm confused because one element's going to have more than another, obviously, because we need four elements in, right? So it has five tubes. So what do I put in the fifth tube? Nothing? Or do I need an extra element in there? I don't know. Let's just try one with four and see what happens. Only one mixture might come out. I don't know. Okay, I think I screwed this up only because one tube's going out into the pot. The other ones are combining in on each other. So I feel like I was supposed to put the ingredients in these ones. I don't know what you put in this one, though. I'm confused. I'm confused. Please just pop out two. It's working. But I don't know how it really works. Is it going to be two? Yes! Yes? Oh, no. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I got my one potion, but you're supposed to be able to make multiples with this. So maybe I do need one more ingredient over here. Okay, if I if this doesn't do anything, I'm very confused at what you're supposed to do. So all I did was simply add to Claudia twice. Um, just because I don't know what else you're supposed to do with this. Unless you put a mutagen in this tube. And then what's the point then? You're just kind of transferring a mutagen from this to this. Uh, regardless, please pop out two. Yes! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> okay. So that's confusing. So I guess we just put in whatever element we want that we have the most of, obviously, in the final tube. And then we get double the output. All right. So that's fantastic. I believe there's one more to this as well where you can actually get three. Uh, but two alone is going to be amazing because I'm scared to get ingredients now because it's getting quite dangerous out there. But I do need these things to heal as well as make, obviously, the limbs. Speaking of limbs, I believe our limb is done, right? We were working on that. Yeah, we got the limbs that are done. So after we heal this guy, we'll go install those bad boys. But yeah, the nourishing is crap in this game. Like, watch this. 87. We have the perfect mutagen here. It only goes to 137. So it does 50, I think. Regardless, with this upgraded piece of equipment, it's going to be way easier to heal these guys. So super happy I was able to get it early. 
All right, creature number two, it's your big day. Time to get some new legs put on. Yes, yeah, some acid legs. One of my few limbs that I've unlocked in the game so far, so I'm assuming they're a bit better. They look fantastic. All right, and there is your acid legs. Install those things, and we'll see what kind of stats you get because my, my second and third creature are crap, if I'm honest, compared to my first. So I'm thinking it's because we haven't upgraded their limbs yet. I'll throw you back in your stasis chamber, and I want to see your stats now. Oh, you actually can't see your stats here. We got to go to the Creaturepedia. And creature number two now is 130 health. Again, not much. Even creature three having more. So I think creature two is kind of junk. Uh, he did upgrade his terror quite a bit, though. And being that it is a range-based unit now, it attacks at every sequence, which is uh, the biggest thing that I wanted with this guy. We're going to have to get some HP buffs with his arms, though. Those penny arms are just not doing much. All right, we may as well work on my second creature's limbs getting the final upgrade. I know I said I wanted to go to HP, but I think I'm going to make a damage dealer here. Uh, only because I don't have many great HP uh, hand limbs. I have a lot of feet that will give me lots of HP, but not hands. So I think the best hands by far are the chain arms. Because, yeah, don't get me wrong. The axe arm is nice. It gives me an extra HP of 10. But this gives me base damage plus 15, essentially, because min and max is both plus 15. I feel like that damage output is going to be way better than a couple more HP. So we'll put that on creature two, and that's the right. We're going to start that process. Why is it not letting me start it? Oh, I had to load the uh, DNA sequence. I can't just simply click it in the drop down, I guess. Anyways, done. And we are going to make some arms for this guy. All right, we got some new hands for old acid legs here. So uh, that will be our second fully upgraded creature. And yeah, with these chain arms, his damage output should be insane. Just doesn't have the health that I was hoping for. I got freaking crap everywhere, man. I need to take this guy's limbs off. That would be my one complaint with this game. It's not easy to delete things. Obviously, yes, I can feed him to the worm, which is fantastic. But when I'm doing as many potions as I am... These vessels are just everywhere. I just constantly, I don't want to run back and forth and just have to delete them. I wish you could like throw them to break them or something. Uh, but yeah, you have to feed them to the worm to get rid of them. But yeah, aside from that, this game's been fantastic. Uh, so we're just going to finish up this guy and see what his stats are like now that we have maxed out his limbs. And yeah, effectiveness still pretty much the same. Obviously, we just have more damage going out uh, per hit. So fantastic. All right, looks like Iron Veil does have a research paper. Let's see what the uh, army's looking like. Not bad, actually. We only have anti-terrorists and police. So let me just look at my stats here. We got Vitality. Yeah, my main guy, is, he's the one who gets attacked all the time because he's the first to attack. So he's always the one that's damaged quite a bit. Obviously, he's the, actually the only one who's taken damage. But we should be fine. It's a low degree of danger right now. I'm not too worried about that. So let's gather the research paper. And we'll see if we get lucky here. Oh, I'm very nervous. Please don't die, big guy. Please don't die. I would be so sad if that guy dies because his he's just supporting everybody. You can see his health was low, but we got it. As I gather more intel necessary for this creation of the ultimate mutagen, I grow increasingly wary of the time pressure placed upon me by the insufferable m military and its investigation teams when the time comes i cannot make a single mistake everything will have to be perfect and although perfection has never been an issue for me god this guy's confidence even my mind needs practice a few more experiments will suffice all right well we got two research papers today so that's pretty damn good and yes that is unlocked the temperature that we need so technically we only need sorry we do need four more i thought we only needed these two but no we actually still are missing two mutagens as well but at least now we know we can put the temperature at 50 and leave it there because that is the temperature that we do want all right guys we're gonna wrap up this episode here i think that was a pretty good episode we have upgraded two of our mutants we got a brand new mutant as well i think in the next episode i'm going to want to focus more on mutant creation because it's nice to have these really strong guys but obviously with all these chambers here we have more than enough room to get a literal army of mutants if we do want them and i think that would be smart to do in the very near future but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying creature creator as always thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one